The game on Sunday really is a reflection of where the club has come from. If you look at where the club was four or five years ago to where it is now, it's almost unrecognisable. And the under-18s getting to the final is, a, is another reflection of that. And everybody's super proud of the way that the boys have represented themselves, the way that the coaches and the management team have, have put a, a lot of work in. But it's, it's really the last number of years all of that has come together from players being involved with the junior academy through to the senior academy and hopefully we'll see these guys running out on Ashton Gate in the next couple of years. So from that point of view, we're, we're super excited. You know, when, when I arrived here, um, obviously the focus was rebuilding the, the team and then probably two years into it, I quickly realised when we have homegrown players, the academy was the big area that we needed to restructure and change it differently because the independent reports and RFU reports were one of the worst performing in the sense of under 18's program and the sense of the way we were doing things and, and everyone was talking to me about our catchment area being the smallest and so forth but I see that as a real plus so we spoke to Steve after the second my second season and said we need to restructure this academy we broke it into the senior and junior Gary Townsend doing a phenomenal job so I was promoted into the, the junior academy and then we interviewed and we found Giff and Watts and Giff's done a tremendous job as well with the both of them working together and we restructured with a director of rugby just overseas, the two of them. Now it doesn't do the extra work, all he does is make sure there's alignment to the group and then we, we involve the coaching group, the medical staff and everything and I think when you look at it statistically in that under 18s program, we were in Seven years, I think, they had four wins. And when I arrived there, I was watching some of the games and results, and we were losing 50, 60, 70 points. But we had no say in that. And now it became the whole one club theme was massive. And the work that all the academy staff and all the staff and all the players have put into this program, it's a wonderful to see them be the only undefeated team going into Sunday and to play Saints for first place. You know, even before the game, it's a huge success and uh, it's, it's what our vision is and there's some phenomenal homegrown players coming through, which is great. One of the biggest things we've done is just ch try to raise expectation and uh, with that expectation, we have to do more as coaches, we have to do more as a management team, but the players have had to do more as well and the commitment that they've shown over the last number of years has been, has been fantastic. That's been supported by the schools, that's been supported by their clubs, and it's been supported by their parents as well and what we're seeing on Sunday is the fruits of their labour by raising expectation, by raising the frequency and the consistency of what we do, what we, what we do it's amazing what young players can, can achieve and from that point of view it's, it's great reward for everybody but also it's the expectation of where the club is going when you look at where it's been and where it wants to be in the next couple of years it's a reflection of that really and, and we're, we're super proud of, of the work that's being, uh, that's being done in, at all levels of the game. We're one club that are, that are coming together on, on Sunday but we're also coming as one club that are representing our patch. We represent the, the schools that these guys come from here, the clubs that these guys are, are come from and uh, I've got no doubt there'll be um, a couple of busloads coming up the M5 on, on Sunday wanting to support their players in, in what is going to hopefully be a, a celebration of, of the journey that these guys are on. Again, as I say, all credit to Gary, uh, Giffen, the staff, the players. It's been great to sit back and watch that all unfold and it's a structure that's in our DNA now. It's a structure that is, helps fulfil the most one of the most important parts of our three-pronged vision of the homegrown players. Uh, that was an area that we truly invested in and some of the talent in that under 18s, we, you know, quite a few will come through into the, the senior academy and, and be in, you know, we'll, without a doubt, we'll be representing the Bears at, at the senior level, which is, which is pleasing.